In this video, we're going to look at the mixed content blocking that takes place by Firefox, starting with version 23 of the software. Mixed content happens when you have a website similar to this Desire to Learn site, which has HTTPS that's starting at the beginning of the URL. When content from a site that does not have an S here, is loaded on a page or is attempted to be loaded on a page, then that content will be blocked by Firefox. Now you can check your version of Firefox by going up to the pull down arrow here and going to help and about Firefox. You'll notice this is version 23.0.1 and it was just with version 23 that mixed content blocking was introduced. Now, Chrome introduced this feature a year ago. Now, the way this um, displays itself, if I go down and click on this link, this is a link to a web page over at history.com. Now, that site does not have an S in its HTTPS area up here like we have with the desire to learn. It just has HTTP. When I try to load that page within desire to learn, that content's going to be blocked. And the symbol is going to appear that we'll look at in a minute. As you click on the link, you'll notice it comes up with the pages blank. It tells me it's going to this site, but it displays no content. But right here in the, the bar here, there is a symbol that is displayed. It's a little shield, and it's showing that the content's being blocked. I can click on that and tell it to disable protection for this page. Now that only works for this page, so when the page reloads, the content is viewable on the page now. There is a workaround for this, and you can actually have that page load into a, its own um, browser page, so it's not loading within Desire to Learn. Now another example is when you click on a link like this one, which has a video embedded on the page. Now it's giving me an error that there's an issue with flash here. That's really not what's going on. The content is being blocked up here and when I tell it to go ahead and load the content it will display the video. So once again each time you go to a page within a system Firefox is going to block that page so you have to do this on a page by page basis. Chrome is a little different instance of this and there is a a video on the Chrome blocking and how to let that content through. Chrome, once you set it for a site, it remembers it for that entire session that you're at that site. 